welcome to Ventura Rocks on Caps Media. My name is Pam Baumgartner. I own and operate VenturaRocks.com, which is a website listing the venues in Ventura who offer live music and promote those artists and musicians who live in and around Ventura, as well as those who travel here to play. We want to inspire people to support Ventura's music scene. Today we welcome into the studio a banjo-driven roots rock and blues band. Please kick back and enjoy 50 Sticks of Dynamite.
Watermark downtown Ventura upstairs in the beautiful W2O room and we have with us in McFabian yeah. and 56 of Dynamite are going to be performing this afternoon but we caught up with them so we could do a quick little Q&A. So first tell us a little bit about how the band got started. Well I was playing some jam nights just by myself and uh, Fran Cat Merrick said you should have a band. I said yeah I should have a band. <laughs> uh, so I contacted Whitey, we were teachers at the same school and I asked him if he would be my wingman and said yes. Mikey was brought to us from a friend, a mutual friend, Eddie Shelton, um, and Chris was I met through the Jam Nights as well. Okay. So that brought us together. And you have how many CDs out now? Three CDs. Three CDs. Yeah. And this right. is the most current one. That's our new one, Carry Me Down to My Grave. Yep, very proud of that. There's some good stuff <laughs> on there too. Thank you. Tell me about the songwriting process. I write the songs in the band and I bring them to the guys at rehearsal and I just basically say, here it is, this is what I got. Really a lot of times I've had songs come to me, I wake up in the morning and a whole song. I always have my phone on, so I always get little clips or little ideas or something comes up, I record it. And like recently I've completed five songs that I've had pieces of for between one and three years. So it's just been on my phone and I have the idea and I don't have whatever that inspiration or that life event or something that puts right. it to being a complete song. You know? so, so it's a good thing you do those little snippets of inspiration because they may evolve into something further down the road. Yeah, when I started doing that, I realized how many songs I lost over the years. Because oh. a lot of times I'm in my car even, I'm just driving and then I take my phone, right? And that's it, you know, and then, or, or some words or something. You know? And also, well, how about a shout out to the kids? You are actually a, a teacher. Yes, so Pacifica High School okay. uh, in Oxnard, and Whitey and I both work there. He's a music teacher, uh, I teach in the Teaching and Education Careers Academy, and this is really funny, one time one of the kids told me, because they found out I'm playing in a band, and they go, you're like Hannah Montana. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I am like Hannah Montana. <laughs> like, I would never think I'd ever say that in my life, right? But the alter like, wow, ego, yeah. The alter ego, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the scene and what you guys have created here. I think our fans like to come see us because we put out feeling and we put out energy and that's what our fans like to see and that's what they like, that's what they vibe off of and people like to dance and people like to interact with us and we have a good time. All right, well thank you so much for taking time out before you get going with your set here at the Watermark. Thank you. And we're going to go back to the studio. I took my bread 
just sounding amazing. Thanks, Thank you so much for being here Absolutely. today. All right, I'm going to introduce the band real quick. We have Whitey Wingland on, on guitar. We also have Michael Dominguez on bass. And we have Chris Jensen on drums. And of course, we have Ian McFadden on banjo. So tell me, the, the, new, the latest CD that you have out is Carrying Me Down to My Grave. So yes. where can people pick that up? They can pick that up on iTunes, they can pick it up on Amazon, they can get to our website, 50sticks.com, and they can get it at Salzer's Records as well. Okay, good. Or and uh, at our live shows. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> also at the live shows, absolutely. And what other kind of merchandise do you have available? We have t-shirts, posters, and stickers. Okay, and you can also get those at the shows and yes. also on the website. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, what do you guys got going on? What do you have coming up for this year? Um, well, we are looking into summer, probably mm -hmm. play the VC Fair, and we've been talking about maybe taking a trip up to Portland. Ah. So that would be awesome if we could get that. Play some venues between here and there, maybe? Yeah, try to get like Arroyo Grande, San Francisco, Salem, Portland, and swing on back. Very nice. All right, you guys ready for another song? Yeah. All right. Do it. So if you guys have never seen 50 Sticks show before, you are definitely missing out. Everyone sweats, everyone smiles, Everyone returns. Once again, 50 sticks of dynamite. wrap up another edition of Ventura Rocks on Caps Media. Don't forget for the most comprehensive calendar of live music in Ventura, always check VenturaRocks.com before you head out for the night. From jazz to punk and all points in between, we got you covered. Remember, there are three elements to making a music scene. The venues, the artists, and us music lovers. Together, we make Ventura rock. On behalf of Caps Media, I'm Pam Baumgartner, and we'll see you next time. But you